So you've decided to join us? Very well. We welcome you. Don't be afraid. Soon, you will know. Know just how very small and lonely human existence has been. Join us. Paradise is here. Come with us. Captain's awake. Captain, 
Try to remain calm as I update you. After you lost consciousness, I did a full examination on you. It is apparent that the unknown life form, excuse me, the dread dust, which was inactive within you, has been reactivated through contact with Seth. At this rate, in the not too distant future, you will likely turn into a wanderer. There is only one way to stop the infection from spreading, and that is to destroy the Lord of Dust, the source of all dread dust. Seems so. I say we kill this captain, or at least we should lay a strict watch. Hey, now hold on. The captain saved all of us. If it wasn't for the captain, we would have been dead a long time ago. We can't just... You want to see someone you care that much about turn into one of those things? I don't think we need to eliminate or even lock up the captain. Why do you say that? Because I believe in the captain. Well, belief isn't going to stop an infection. If we do let the captain continue to lead us, we need to establish how much time we have. In that case, I can present a figure. The captain has 12 days remaining. The same amount of time it will take the infection to overwhelm me. You're infected? Why didn't you tell us? Allow me to explain this part. At one point while I was participating in the Karen Corps' mission, I became infected with the Dread Dust, and it began to spread within me. At that time, I temporarily quarantined all of my networks to protect myself. I rewrote my programming to enable infected areas and non-infected areas to function independently. As a result, my awareness was divided into two, and this personality was born. Why are you only telling us this now? Did good luck orchestrate this confession too? No. Like the captain, when we came into contact with Seth, our countermeasures were disabled, and the dread dust began to spread once more. This resulted in my independent networks being rejoined, and my records of the Karen Corps' mission were restored. At the same time, I was able to access all information Seth, that is, the Dread Dust, possesses. Everything has been revealed to me. Dita does not exist in a dimension separate from your own. This is your world. This is its future. This is Earth in the 22nd century. Everything exists within a single timeline. Beginning several decades after your lifetimes, the world has been destroyed over and over. The cause of this time loop is the monster we know as the Lord of Dust. The Lord of Dust appears to be an aggregate of dread dust. To satisfy the dust's instinct to propagate, the Lord of Dust uses a wormhole to travel to the past where it assimilates everything it can, thus destroying the world. Continuing to exist in that world, the Lord of Dust then travels back to the past through another wormhole, repeating the process. In this way, the world is trapped in endless cycles of destruction. From analyzing the memories of the Dread Dust, it appears its origin can in fact be traced to the invention of medical nanomachines. However, how many cycles ago the dust emerged, that is unclear. The only way to stop this process is to destroy the Lord of Dust. Fortunately, of all the temporal axes in which the Lord of Dust exists, the one in this time is the weakest, in terms of its energy stores. Given the state it is in right now, if we use Sahelanthropus's armament, namely, the Archaea Blades and the Railgun together, it is theoretically possible to destroy it. However, the destruction of the Lord of Dust will have one negative effect. 
Assuming the cause of all loops is the Lord of Dust, there is an extremely high probability that its destruction will mean the coordinates for the wormhole connecting this time and your time will no longer be valid. In other words, destroying it may mean you will never be able to return to your time. No! But please, you needn't worry. I won't let that happen to you. If you prepare the weapons for the attack, then once you have all traveled through the wormhole back to your time, I can destroy the Lord of Dust myself. But, but, in that case you'd be trapped here forever, wouldn't you? Virgil? Virgil! Massive gravitational anomaly detected. Oh my. My presumption is, this is the Lord of Dust itself preparing to generate a wormhole for time travel. At some point, it will likely come to attack our base of operations. That is, base camp. As currently, our presence is the one thing that can stop it from achieving its goal. Estimated time of attack is 11 days from now. Exactly one day before the infection will overwhelm the captain and me. You must finish your preparations to intercept the Lord of Dust before then. The railgun will only require some standard repairs, but the issue is the other weapons needed to strike at the Lord of Dust, the Archaea Blades. The greater part of these weapons systems are dependent on the actions of a special group of organisms called the Metallic Archaea. However, these metallic archaea have had to alter their composition in order to survive in an environment now full of dread dust. Therefore, the archaea blades cannot function with their existing control program. So with the metallic archaea having adapted in composition, in order to use these weapons, we're going to have to modify their control program. That won't be a problem. Other members of the Corps were working on that. Looks like all the time we put into Sahalanthropus wasn't a waste after all. Where are they right now? Uh, sorry. It's all right. They got taken out by wanderers. I was away working on something else. I know where they were. I'll pass on the information to Virgil. 